Yes. Il porte. Dumpy. Oh. Oh. You heard it here first. Bitcoin is going to zero. When it comes out, zero. Just hold all bro. So, um, hey guys, we're here together with uh, the Gem Hunters today, one of our um, main champions uh, on the whole platform. And um, why don't you guys go ahead and, and give us a small introduction uh, about who you guys are and uh, about the Gem Hunters in general. Yeah, it's, it's great to be here today. Thank you for having us on, Bart. So the Gem Hunters is a friendly micro cap, low cap enthusiast investors community where we seek out, find, research, and connect with new uh, promising projects who have transparent, hardworking teams, solid, fundamental use cases. And I'm a bit shaman, and this is Panda. We've, Panda. Yeah, we've been running the Gem Hunters now for nearly four years. We have a really good reputation in the space, a really vibrant community who comes along and supports the project they get involved and we try to give them in turn the sort of tools um, they need to survive and thrive in the crypto markets so we are uh, finding new good new projects with our community and then <coughs> everyone is bouncing off each other uh, researching uh, finding new strategies, new tactics, new methods, new ways to invest and find a way to, as I said before, not just survive in crypto, but thrive. So thank you for having us, us on today, Bart. Do you want to bring out anything on Panda? Maybe just that we are not only trying to trade, but really adapt to the market. So when it's time to step back, take profits, take your stable coins into farms, stuff like that, identify solid farms, safe farms, and also give new investors like a safe place where they can be without getting scammed. Cause I've seen many groups right now, they are just being spammed with so much scam. And that's something we heavily moderate on our channel. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. I mean, yeah, that's, that's one of the, the big problems that we're trying to solve here uh, at Horde is, uh, of course, there has been a lot of people promoting projects uh, without like having actual skin in the game or, or probably coming in, you know, pre-sale and uh, pumping it up and, 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 and then getting out, you know, so what, what, what we're trying to do with, uh, with Horde is, of course, uh, having you, guy, you guys like put in some of your own capital and um, trade for, but also with the community where it's like entirely transparent. And um, I mean, your, your performance shows right there on the platform. So um, people can decide based on that to come in. And uh, once you, you build up some, um, some credibility there, um, it will only grow from there. So, so that's good to hear. Um, so my second question would be, uh, how would you describe your approach to the markets? So as Panda mentioned um, after me, we uh, don't just um, invest and trade. We also try to identify uh, trends within the markets and those trends before they actually happen. Uh, so like with Horde, um, we sort of got in there really early and identifying these patterns, trends, how the markets move, how we as investors can engage them. And like you said, we are with the community. We trade with the community. And we've had a lot of guys coming into the Gem Hunters actually uh, quite proud to to have uh, been supporting us on the Horde platform, which is it's been really nice. Yeah. As, as it, <laughs> that was really nice. It was. It, I mean, <laughs> really like, nice to see. And they got, and they cried. I was like, oh, my God. I was so, so, <laughs> so proud, so so proud. And but um, you know, it, 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 we we are proud um, to have had that support from the investors. So finding those um, different. Um, sort of times in the market where you know it might be a good time to identify at the moment as it's you like know, with with metaverse. nft trends with yeah. with the gaming trends so as soon as you see certain patterns in the market mm -hmm. and we've been around for years and we are pretty much always around even though we are kind of like running or we are the heads of the community we are always there not only on twitter but we are also all, always available on telegram and 
therefore we see these trends and we, we also have trusted community members coming to us and for example showing us projects showing us emerging technologies mm. which also helps identify and find that kind of stuff it's, it's not just it's, it's not about people think wow you must have like all kinds of degrees and diplomas and you guys are really smart and it's not really um it's not it's not about <laughs> it's not about that. <laughs> so, sorry about that, <laughs> you <get> that. <laughs> yeah, do, you get that? <laughs> do you get that as well um it's it's more about being obsessed it's more about being active it's more about being present all the time and you don't have to be a rocket scientist you don't have to have degrees or qualifications in this, this certain field it's just about being active um being um like um sort of um obsessed really as, as i said then and loving having this as a passion is 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 what it is is how you find success well that's in any field isn't it not just crypto when you find a passion then you can chase that so our community really is full of these kinds of people so if anyone out there is passionate or they they, they really enjoy this we would affirm uh, we're one of the first one of the first to find to identify nfts as uh, one of the next big trends on our website you can find a, a full write-up and this was back in when was it panda was it March uh, was it was it late two thousand nineteen? It was yeah around oh, March, August maybe. Yeah, I, I think it was. August, I think it was yeah. Something and like that. That that was really early. That that was before that's NFT. That's really early. That yeah. that's really early. And um, if you look at the NFT hype now, how um, how, how big they are now, how mainstream they are, and how early we right, we identified that, and we also got into all the metaverse. Um, you know mmorpg uh, nft games really early as well got into lots of the top projects including including yourself we've been also supporting for example sandbox since i don't even know early early last year or something so that was one of the big emerging ones and we've or i also played it and really liked that stuff it's like sometimes when you try that stuff out and you realize it's something you would play or use yourself. That's also helping to really get behind stuff and like identify the good projects. Yep. Just awesome. having those really, really like fitting into places where you could utilize them yourself. Yeah. And we're saying, to sure, lot, sorry, we're saying to a lot of people at the moment uh, about, as I said, then about following your passion. If there are people out there who enjoy um, designing, creating, or the art behind it, Bang, uh, crypto offers so many opportunities for people out there and we're also identifying those opportunities so if you do want to actually make money in crypto not just trading and investing but creating nfts even mems becoming uh, admins community managers there's so many things you can do so we're always identifying those opportunities as well so it isn't just investing and trading it's all aspects of crypto really Right. Well, it sounds like a very tight knit community, and um, I'm very engaged. I I hope some people from uh, Hort will definitely uh, come over your way and and get excited about this. Mm -hmm. uh, the next question here I wanted to ask is uh, why did you guys decide to become a Hort champion? Do, do, do so I, I think yeah, I think I think it was you who I spoke to back then. Yeah, probably. Um, I'm not sure. Early early this year. A bit there. it's somewhat somewhat bridging like from the real world um exchange traded funds stuff like that but it's bringing like mm, let me let me try to <laughs> find the right words in english so it's it's like bridging from the traditional markets into the crypto markets which are really like community focused and stuff like that and it's combining those two aspects and it was just a great idea yeah for so, sure yeah yes well, spoke well, to Sean and he liked the idea and loved it, yeah. we definitely wanted to come on board F fundamentally it's a really strong project we love the team the community is vibrant and we are always telling the gem hunters community every single project starts with the community that is the hub that is the foundation so that's a massive bonus and we love that about horde as i said we love we love you guys and the reception that we've had for being a horde champion has been phenomenal 
um, so many people were racing to get in there, and um, that was uh, that was huge for us. So yeah, thank yeah, hundred percent. So um, yeah, uh, talking about NFTs uh, being all the hype right now, um, we have of course the Horde Champion NFTs, uh, which are NFT tickets where people can um, claim their spot um once your your age pools go live so once you guys become fund managers and and uh, create your own nft uh, these are going to be the first people that have a a claimed spot to to get in um and uh looking at the the, the champions page right now i see that um the gem hunters currently has 135 out of 200 of these tickets reserved and uh i just wanted to tell the community that um i mean this is known but just want to reiterate that on this Saturday, the 14th, um, the prices of these NFTs will uh, will double again, um, going to 12,000 Horde that needs to be staked. So um, whoever sees this video uh, and, and is in time, like uh, we urge you to get in um, while, while the prices are still uh, lower yeah. uh, this week here. So um, definitely that's uh, that's a good thing to keep, uh, keep an eye on. Um, okay, so uh, thanks, guys, for, for sharing a bit about um, your, your strategy, your community, um, why you chose to be a champion, and uh, what people can expect um, when they try when they decide to, to invest with uh, the gem hunters um, later when your pool goes live. Um, are there um, some questions from your side, perhaps, about, about our yeah, project yeah. And, uh, that we can We share? also have a few questions for you because we would also share the video and yeah. just give our community a better understanding of what Hort actually is. So what is your mission as a project or what was the initial idea behind it? Right, so um, we saw that there were a few projects in this space um, that allow people to have a, a number of um, assets. But the thing is, there wasn't really like an ETF platform that was fully decentralized and that actually works in a way that is proper for the average investor. So the thing is, if you go to token sets, for example, and you want to go ahead and, and um, buy into one of their, their sets, the problem with decentralization is, of course, that there is a very high cost with this. Um, and anyone there can create uh, an ETF. So there is no like track record. There is no community behind it. It's just like random Joe can come in there. So it's very hard to trust um, the people that are actually managing the funds for you. And at the same time, it's very expensive to get in and out. So we wanted to solve kind of um, those problems with uh, a community-based platform where we have actual um, champions that are like influencers or traders or people with a proven track record that they are actually the fund manager. So we create that, that level of trust with people. And then at the same time, we um, have the, the, uh, the tickets where people all get in at the same time. And whenever uh, a fund is created or rebalanced, the um, decentralized fees, so the trading fees on Uniswap, they get pulled together. So whenever a trade is being done, it's not being done a thousand times with a thousand followers, but just one time. So for example, if a rebalance costs a thousand dollars divided by a thousand followers, that's only one dollar per person. Whereas if you want to create a portfolio decentralized yourself and you're going to have to pay the swaps every time that you do rebalance or, or that you even like uh, get into a new project um, for like smaller investors, that's a very big like step uh, and, and a very yeah. big cost can be a very big cost. Yeah. Um, and we, we want to decent, uh, decentralize and we want to, um, we want to make sure that everyone can come in, you know, even, even smaller people and, um, that they have like this community uh, and, and these people that they are investing with together and they have someone that they can trust that's actually managing the funds for them. Uh, but at the same time, have it in a totally decentralized fashion where they are always in control of their own funds. Um, so yeah, our mission is to bring this to as much uh, and as many people as possible. Uh, on, the, on the one side, um, allow for, for influencers to do this in a, in a trusted way, in a trusted yeah. fashion. And on the other side, for everyone to, to come in and, uh, and follow people that, that have the experience and have the knowledge to, uh, to make the right decisions and uh, create a, a proper portfolio. Love that. Great summary. Transparency yeah. is, uh, is, is number one. And you guys certainly have been transparent so far. Yep. So you also have your native token, which is Hort. And could you explain what the actual use case of the token is? And for just investors, what would potentially drive the value of the token? Sure. So um, the, the main thing is um, with ETFs, there's going to be a large number of these, right? So the thing is, if you trade these on um, Uniswap, for example, you're going to need liquidity. 
how do people get liquidity? Usually they, they create a farm and, and incentivize people extra to put liquidity on the pair. Um, it's going to be hard to have liquidity for each and every one of these ETF tokens. So that's why we decided to create our own uh, DEX, which is going to be an order book DEX where oh. um, sales and uh, like buyers and sellers are, are matched up together. Um, and the people that, uh, so this is actually going to generate fees on our platform. Um, and we're going to allow single-sided staking with the whole token to get a, a, a portion of that fee. So a portion of the fee goes to nice. burning hoard forever, <laughs> making it deflationary. A portion of the fee goes to the staker. So they have an incentive to, to, to hold and stake a hoard. And a portion is, of course, going to be champions. Um, then as well, there's going to be um, a couple of fees on the platform, um, entering a, um, an H pool, exiting it, um, and trading as well. And whenever people use Hoard to pay these fees, they get a, a pretty good uh, discount on it. So um, this allows um, the Hoard token to be used, to be staked, to be burned, um, and actually be an integral part of the platform and the, and the token economy. Nice. So those are going to be the, the main drivers, um, a couple of the main drivers for the Hoard token. Another one is that each and every one of the H pools that are created need to hold at least 1% in Hoard token. So the more TVL we bring to this platform, uh, the more demand we create and the more tokens we burn and the more tokens we will lock up as well. Um, and so this is going to drive the, the token economy for Horde and um, yeah, Very make like for, a, for a good tokenomics. Plenty of use cases there then, plenty of use cases. Yeah, uh, especially if the, the fee distribution is really nice. <laughs> I like it. it, it it's, I'm, I'm so bullish on that. And uh, next question, uh, how exactly... Uh, do people benefit from following the Horde champions? And can you give us a little bit of a rundown on how uh, new investors can get started on um, sort of getting into involved in that side, the NFT side and the champion side, please? Yeah, for sure. Um, so that's also actually already like pre-launch. We're, we're pre-product now, but that's already um, a big incentive um, uh, for holding and, and using the token. Um, we've seen more than a million in USD um, locked up for, for over 30 days in, in Hort Token to farm these, uh, these NFT tickets. And so now pre-launch, uh, we have this, um, this, this roster of, of Genesis champions, the, the people that are there right now, and, and they will start um, working as a champion as soon as we go live um, later this quarter. Um, and so what people can do is they can farm these NFTs and, and basically claim their spot and they can get in for sure. Um, but what they can also do at a, at a later point, like once the platform is live, um, this is going to change a little bit where um, you're not going to have to wait 30 days for the NFT ticket. Um, it's basically like whenever a champion decides to, to create a new pool, there's going to be um, a, a certain period where people can come in and stake um, and they can get the ticket right away. So they stake for 30 days, but they get the ticket right away. And, uh, and they can start and follow the pool. Um, of course, we do understand that not everyone is as confident to um, put their money into um, a pool before they know uh, what's going to be the ROI or what's the performance of the pool. Yeah. And that's why we create the secondary um, uh, decks. Um, so like the, the marketplace where people can uh, trade these ETF tokens, because that's the beauty of an ETF token, right? I mean, there's copy trading, of course, where you can just copy the trades of the champion. But what we do is we create a token which holds the value of that trading and of that portfolio, right? So um, these uh, tokens are just ERC-20 tokens, like every token uh, out there. And, and these can be traded on the DEX as well. Um, and so when people want to come in, um, there's the marketplace where they can do that, or they can always wait for the next pool and, um, and decide to farm uh, an NFT ticket to get in. Uh, and the benefit, uh, I mean, the benefit will be is that you, you have like automatically a portfolio, right? So you, you're not putting all your eggs in one basket, you're trusting a certain community or a certain trader um, to mm, basically manage yeah. for you um, an entire portfolio. So it's, it's a very uh, like laid back solution. It's um, it's it's a, it's a active trading done by people that have the experience and, and have the proven track record um, to yeah. do it for you. Yeah. Um, and to, to have the right type of exposure and the right type of trading um, pretty so passively. Yeah. You sort you sort of delving into the next question already. There, I was going to ask about um, what risks are actually involved for the investors uh, who decide to uh, get involved in following uh, the whole champions. 
Yeah, I mean, that depends, of course, on the champion themselves. Um, it depends on their strategy. Uh, are they active traders? Are they holders of um, blue chip yeah. tokens? Yeah. Uh, are they just in here for, for the long run? So that could be one um, um, strategy, right? Just hold like the top five tokens in an equal weight and um, just hold it for like the next five years, you know, and yeah. you just get in. And instead of buying and managing the rebalancing yourself, that's automatically being done. So that's like a, a low cost, um, hands-off way of, of investing in the top five blue chip. For example, there can also be um, people that decide to invest in very small cap tokens, right? And they invest in a whole number of them and you're trying to see like which one of these is yeah, kind of really just need one. And, and just need one to run, don't you? You just need, need one. Right, right. Or, or there's going to be like very active traders because um, we recently decided, um, and that was actually came uh, from the community, to do, um, uh, implement a, a number of um, trading uh, functionalities um, in our platform, even for the, the V1. So the first version is going to have uh, a stop loss um, and also a limit order and limit sell order um, where people can um, go to sleep at night, um, resting <laughs> assured that, that any, any uh, positions that they have uh, that they, they might want to put a stop loss on, that they can do that. So... Um, that really depends on the champion. Um, yeah. And of course, we're going to have to see once we go live. Um, there, there's going to be uh, lots of stats on that. So where people can like compare and um, we'll probably give risk scores as well um, yeah. to some of these champions to, to make sure that people make the right decision. Um, in the end, of course, you, you are handing out like some of the um, your trading to, to an experienced person uh, that you're going to have to trust. But there is, at the same time, there is a track record. There is ROI and there is like uh, the stats on that as well. And um, if, if for whatever reason, reason you want to um, get out of the portfolio, that's always an option, right? So yeah. it, there is no, it, this is a decentralized finance product. So people are 100% uh, in control of their own uh, funds and they can um, liquidate at any time, 24 seven, like whenever they want, there is, yeah. there's no one like managing that, you know, it's just, that's just like the smart contract that manages that. So. Yeah. And you can also yeah. learn, learn a lot, can't you as well? Cause you are literally um, seeing firsthand a more experienced trader or someone else. So yeah. not only will you learn, you'll also get someone else's perspective. And sometimes that's really useful, isn't it? Especially in crypto. Just having different hundred percent and, and you're not in there alone, you know, you, you're yeah. with the other followers as well. So there's gonna be communities um that are the holders of these, for example, the 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 gem hunters uh H pool. Um they're gonna discuss together as well, and they're gonna probably be even in communication with the managers as well. And yeah, yeah. Uh, there's gonna like exist this whole like um co-working, like you know, this 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 um working together and uh, and and this community uh, based um investing against um, other people going to be war. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's going to be crazy. So, yeah. Tribalism. But now, yeah. now also that you managed, uh, that you mentioned a few of these risk factors, we should probably add a few more um, like specifics about our trading perspective, which just yeah, came to sure, mind. That, so yeah. we, we have a pretty balanced portfolio, which also means that we include stable coins in our portfolio when we take profits we take profits to like the big tokens for example ethereum but also to stable coins keep yeah. a certain percentage in each then we not go full degenerate on micro caps we have a few micro caps but with them we we try to identify those that really have a product coming have a working team so you don't really invest in the existing product with with these type of projects because they wouldn't be micro cap, cap if they had a product you yeah. invest more in the team and division so we yeah, try to yeah. speak with the team directly and have them maybe for amas and find out who's behind them what they're working on and what they got coming then we try to follow on the roadmap and development updates of course in developments and especially in crypto development blockchain development stuff there are always delays but yeah if projects always over promise and under deliver then we have to like yeah. cut start, losses and start to average just, out. just yeah. leave yeah, yeah. But leave, leave the project you, you see it in ethereum don't you as well i mean that's what you know second the second top project yeah that's, of course that's you will always delays, have delays but delays all the time so delays with, with, also some, with something something like ethereum is yeah it's worth it's, it's, how, it's do you, worth. how do you say i i mean more like it's it's harder to keep your dates because mm. it's so big and you have like 10,000 developers from all over yeah. the world 
Yeah, that's 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 an issue. But when you have micro caps, they should have an easier time to stick to certain dates than yeah. something like Ethereum. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. Okay, also so that, that's good to hear. So you, you guys are, are are pretty well hedged there. Then um, holding the large caps and, and making sure you have yeah, some ETH uh, and, and USDT on the side. Um, to get also, in we are we are not more. really into something like leverage trading. That's not our trading style. What we do is occasionally uh, swing trading. Yeah. So by by certain projects, and sometimes you wait for weeks until either your buy or your sell is filled. And then, yeah, that's right. and then that we're, we're, so that's, we're that's some of the, yeah. sorry, we're, we're some of the functionality that we're, uh, we're we've we've built into the into the uh, the platform. So so that's great to hear. And um, as for like uh, leverage, uh, we, we don't want to mess with that at all. Yeah. But we're um, allowing people to build portfolios and do some active trading um, in order to like rebalance and 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 get in and out of certain positions in these portfolios. Yeah. But that's the extent to which we want to go. Um, so so that's a good yeah. match there. Good to hear that, yeah. I was just I was just gonna say then, um, about the whole diversification of the portfolio and we're also teaching people how to slowly average into positions and then slowly take profit and then always have that investor's mindset of uh, being prepared for all directions, um and projects like yourself, fundamentally strong projects that you believe in, get involved in the community, um, find uh, the reasons why you you want to hold that project it's so important to understand why you're holding it because it, it's going to be the, the crucial factor um and then go go the whole way and get getting involved in in the telegram group in twitter is all part of the game and it helps investors become better traders follow those follow the right communities there's so many people out there so many good uh, investors and traders who have got loads of knowledge so yeah appreciate that yep. Yeah, for sure. And the thing is, um, uh, that's that's a good point that you mentioned there. Um, a lot of these new people coming in, and, and I mean like really new people, um, they, they might like buy into some some pipe dream, you know, like, oh, this is going to be the best project ever. And then within two months, they see the token going down and then they get out of the position. Yeah. So this is some of the things that we're, we're trying to protect people from as well. And uh, and having people uh, um, managing these these pools that have been here for years, um, who understand the dynamics of, of, of like small cap investing and, and uh, who understand that, hey, this uh, might take some more time um, than we initially expected, but we're not yeah. going to exit the, the, the position at this time because we do trust that uh, in, the, in the mid to long term, this is going to deliver. Um, that, that's also a good thing for, for people to have that hedge, you know, especially yeah. new people coming in to, to have the community to, to build upon and, and have the, the experienced traders uh, managing it for them. So um, I think we're, um, we're going to wrap things up here, guys. Um, it was awesome to talk to you. Uh, I hope uh, we're going to uh, sell out a lot more of your, your NFTs uh, based off of this, um, this insight into how you guys work and uh, what you guys are planning to do with Horde. Um, I hope your community has, has learned a thing or two about us as well. And um, yeah, it was great to talk to you. And um, we'll, we'll talk again soon. Appreciate it, Bart. Cheers. Bye, All right. Man. Cheers, guys. Cheers.